Welcome back. Eric Clark here. Today we're going to talk about reducing fraction, otherwise known as simplifying fraction. So we're going to take one very simple fraction. We're going to say, let's start with 3 over 9. So the first thing we want to do is we want to look at the numerator and the denominator to determine if they have any factors in common. So this one's relatively simple because we know that 3 is a factor of 9, so the greatest common factor of 3 and 9 is going to be 3. So what we want to do is divide the numerator by 3 and then divide the denominator by 3, which gives us 3 divided by 3 is 1, 9 divided by 3 is 3. So if you notice, 3 over 3 is actually equal to 1, so we're really dividing the number, the fraction by 1, which essentially doesn't change the overall value. Let's try something that may be a little bit more complex. So let's take 12 over, I don't know, 39, okay? So 12 over 39, we're looking at it, we're looking at it. Let's test to see if they're divisible by 2. I know the numerator is divisible by 2 because it's even, but the denominator is not divisible by 2. So we can put that one out. Let's check 3. And we know that 1 plus 2 is 3, so the numerator is divisible by 3. And we also know that 3 plus 9 is 12, so the denominator is also divisible by 3. Now we could try to go on a little bit further, um, but this fraction is relatively simple, so let's just divide it by 3 over 3. Okay? So 12 divided by 3 is 4. 39 divided by 3 is 13. So we look at 4 and 13, the LCD, least common denominator, or least common multiple, great, crying out loud, the greatest common factor is equal to 1. That means that these two numbers are relatively prime and the fraction is in simplest form. So let's go ahead and try one more. So we're going to try something like 125 all over, I don't know, say 275. Okay, what I want to do is I want to show you how to use the factor tree to determine the greatest common factor. So the factor tree is essentially looking for two numbers two, that are factors of 125. So I know that 5 is a factor of 125 because it ends in 5. So I know 5 times 25 is 125, and then I also know that 5 times 5 is 25. So if I take the product of 5 times 5 times 5, it gives me 125. Now let's check out 275. So we know that 5 is a factor, so 5 is going to go in... 275 divided by 5 is 55, and then 055 is 5 times 11. So when we want to use the factor tree, we want to find the prime factorization, which is essentially the product of all of the prime factors. So 5 times 5 times 5 is equal to 125, and then 5 times 5 times 11 is equal to 275. Okay, if I look here, I can go and circle the common factors, which is 5 times 5, which then tells me that 25 is the LC or the greatest common factor of 125 and 75. So we're going to take 125, divide that by 25, then take 275, divide that by 25. So I'm left with 5 over 11. Okay? So that's how we simplify 125 and 275. So when you're trying to simplify or reduce fractions, what you need to do is find the greatest common factor of the numerator and the denominator, and then just divide the numerator and denominator by that particular factor. Hopefully this was helpful. If you have more questions, you can always find us on Twitter. And then if you would like us to make videos for you, we can do that for you by clicking or typing in this URL. Anyway, hopefully this was helpful, and I look forward to your feedback.